How to compute mod? We'll try several methods. For example, find 230 mod 40. That means when I divide 230 by 40, what is the remainder? So we set it up. 40 goes into 200, 230 five times. 5 times 40 equals 200, and we find a remainder of 30. So R, our remainder, equals 30. Our quotient, Q, equals 5. That's the num 5 is the number of times, the greatest number of times that we can divide 40 into 230. So we have two, 230 mod 40 equals 30. There are three ways that we'll talk about. The first is the intuitive method, and that's what we just did, where we could look at the numbers and sort of guess how many times one number went into another. The second number is with a, the second method is with a calculator, and the third method will try the division algorithm. So an example with a calculator. Find 520 mod 57. So 57 goes into 520 and we get 9.1228 with our calculator. However, 9.1228 is a decimal number and we're looking for an integer. So we look on our number line and we see that our number that we got from our calculator, 9.1228, lies between 9 and 10. So which, which integer do we choose? So we try 10. 57 goes into 520 10 times. We multiply 10 by 57 and we get 570. So that can't be right. 57 does not go into 520 10 times. So we choose 9. 57 goes into 520 9 times. 9 times 57 equals 513 and we get 7. So our remainder r equals 7 and our quotient q equals 9. And 520 mod 57 equals 7. And recall that r, our remainder, is between 0 and 57. We'll try with the division algorithm. Find 41 mod 13. Again, what is the remainder when we divide 13 into 41? We want to find our quotient Q, and we want to find our, our remainder R. Recall that our remainder has to be between 0 and 13. It has to be greater or equal to 0 and 13. So with the division algorithm, we take our number 41 and we subtract 13 and we keep doing that until we find our r, which has to lie between 0 and 13. It can be equal to 0 or it can be l less than 13. So 41 subtract 13 equals 28. So could that be our, our uh, r? No, it can't. It's greater than 13. 28 subtract 13 equals 15. Could that be our remainder? No. 15 is greater than 13. 15 subtract 13 equals 2. That lies between 0 and 13, so our remainder equals 2. So our remainder equals 2. Our quotient Q equals 3. And 41 mod 13 equals 2. Now, let's try using a calculator, but with a negative number. So now we have negative 457 mod 24. And remember that that means what is the remainder when I divide 24 into 457. So we set it up. 24 
goes into negative 457, and using our calculator, we find negative 19.0416. But again, this is a decimal number, and our quotient Q is an integer. So we find on the negative number line, we have negative 19, negative 19.0416, and negative 20. Now remember that Q, our quotient, is the largest number of times that we can divide 24 into negative 457. It's the largest number of times. So the number that we're looking for has to be smaller than that. Now on our negative number line, negative 19.0416, which number is smaller? And on the negative number line, negative 20 is smaller than negative 19.0416. So our quotient Q equals negative 20, and we set that up. 24 goes into negative 457, negative 20 times. We multiply negative 20 by 24 to get negative 480, and we subtract those two numbers. But a negative and a negative equals a positive, so we end up with negative 457 plus 480, and we have a remainder of 23. So r equals 23. And negative 457 mod 24 equals 23. And recall r is, is greater or equal to 0 and less than 24. Let's try an example using the division algorithm, but this time with a negative number. Find negative 41 mod 13. So 13 goes into negative 41 how many times? We're looking for our remainder, which has to be greater or equal to 0 and less than 13. So we, set, we start. Negative 41 subtract 13 equals negative 54. Negative 54 subtract 13 equals negative 67. And I think we have a problem because if we continue subtracting, we're going to find that this that our our remainder gets more and more negative. But we know that our remainder has to be positive. So let's try another strategy. Negative 41 plus 13 equals negative 28. Negative 28 plus 13 equals negative 15. Negative 15 plus 13 equals negative 2. That's getting better. Negative 2 plus 13 equals plus 11. That lies between 0 and 13. So r equals 11 and q equals negative 4. Now remember that r equals our remainder. That equals 11. So negative 41 mod 13 equals 11, and Q, our quotient, is negative 4. Now, why is Q, our quotient, a negative number? With long division, we can check our answer. 13 times negative 4 has to equal a negative number, because we have negative 41. So if we had used a positive number, we would say 13 times 4, and we get a positive number. So we have to choose, we have to choose a negative number for Q, our quotient.